Uh, thank you, Mr. Palmer, for your testimony. I appreciate it. Um, being from northern Lancaster County, um, I have the treasure of Middle Creek in my district. And I know it's been addressed that uh, that might be one of the places we cut. So I really have two questions. Number one is I'd like you to address what that, exactly that means. Um, sure. Many of my constituents are asking that. And, and what did you mean by, you know, we need to cut Middle Creek? Absolutely. And uh, first, let me say that I completely agree with you. I think that Middle Creek is uh, not just a treasure in your district, but a treasure for the whole Commonwealth. Uh, very big tourist draw for the area. We've had people traveling from as far as China uh, fairly routinely just to take advantage of some of the peak snow goose migration and swan migrations. Uh, we realize the value of Middle Creek. We run thousands of people through there, do lots of wildlife education there. Um, it certainly is not something we would want to do. Uh, it'd probably be as far down the list as we could get it. Um, and what I think that Director Ho alluded to in the annual report that got some of this discussion started was that there are certain aspects of Middle Creek, though, that could be impacted. If, if we continue to go forward without a revenue increase, that may force some of the closure of the visitor center. It certainly is not going to be a drain the lake like some people had portrayed earlier. The public would still have access to it through the public roads, but if we don't have the personnel to maintain the parking lots or we don't have the personnel to, to man the visitor center, those are some things that might be looked at. So if the legislation did pass, what would that mean? That would allow us to continue and potentially even expand operations there. Okay. Uh, one of my other questions that I get, you know, I go out and talk to all my different sportsmen clubs and, and I try and communicate as much as I can at being a legislator. I'm held accountable to my constituents. And one of the, the most important things I think that my hunters say to me is they don't feel as if they have a, a voice with the game commission. So I guess, what, is there anything in place where you can hear from the average hunter or sportsman to what their views are on, on what kind of job you're doing? Absolutely. There's a number of venues. The most direct one would be to uh, attend the commission meeting for the public comment day and speak directly to the commissioners uh, to, to voice their concerns or opinions. Um, there's also participation through the Federation of Sportsmen's Clubs at the county level. Uh, county delegates take a number of votes throughout the year. Um, they can contact uh, the game commission in a number of formats for, if they have a question or a concern, uh, from social media to a direct call to one of our dispatch centers. And we certainly would try to answer their questions. Good enough. Thank you.